Hello friends, myself Javier. I am once again in front of you with the new theory which is the maximum war obtainable from the finite body and thermal energy reserve. So first of all, let uh, differentiate these two things. One is finite body means the body which is having a particular pressure. If the finite body absorbs the heat, its temperature increases. If finite body rejecting the heat, its temperature reduces. While in the reverse manner, in case of thermal energy reservoir, if infinite amount of heat is absorbed by the TR or infinite amount of heat is rejected by the TR, TR its temperature does not affect. Example of the thermal energy reservoir or TER is atmosphere. We uh, nowadays in order to get the luxurious life, we all use the air conditioning in our home. But the whole amount of air conditioning, heat ejected from the air conditioning, are not able to increase the temperature of the atmosphere or decrease the temperature of the atmosphere. So this is the example of the TR. Now, when we are applying TR, to the application of entropy principle at that time the TER is denoted by the equation Q2 divided by T0 means the TER is at the temperature T0 and heat, Q2 amount of heat is rejected by the heat engine and it is received by the TER. So here delta S of delta S of second system means TER, this is second system, is equal to Q2 divided by T0. Whenever we are using T0 and we need to define an entropy of it, sorry, we are using TER and we need to define entropy of it, then it will be simply heat divided by temperature and whenever we are using finite body the uh, entropy equation is dq by t but it is cyclic integration from temperature t to t0 means the initial temperature till the final temperature here we are using finite body as a body number one and ter as a body number two or you can say finite body as a source and TER is the same. So finite body is a source, means body at a higher temperature. So T is higher than the T0. And as a source is rejecting heat to the sink, but sink is thermal energy reservoir whose temperature does not change. So ultimately, what will be the final temperature of this body T? It is T0 because after a time when the thermal equilibrium reached, at that time this temperature T is reduced up to the temperature of T0. That's why here we are taking cycling integration, sorry, integration of T to T0 dq by T. So this is the equation of the finite body and basic the difference between the finite body and the thermal energy reservoir. Many a time students having a difficulty to understand this uh, energy entropy principle and that is just because of this concept means whenever we are using thermal energy reservoir at that time we are not integrating it with the T to T0 because it is at a finite temperature there is no change in the temperature as per the definition of the TER by absorbing or rejecting the finite amount of heat it does not change in its temperature so temperature is immense fixed. So generally this 
this is not uh, strike in the student mind when it is first time when he is first time reading it but more or less after watching this video you are very much clear and after that you are uh, entropy principle for oh, whenever you are calculating entropy principle it will be easy if you are having such clear concept in your mind that whenever we are using thermal energy reservoir the equation could be q divided by t0 and whenever we are using finite body the equation would be integration from t to initial temperature to final temperature divided by let's talk about this maximum work concept maximum work means what or maximum work when maximum work obtained we are saying that the maximum efficiency of the cycle which is cycle having the maximum efficiency reversible cycle and reversible cycle in case of reversible cycle delta s of universe is equal to 0 so i am putting the same equation delta s of universe means the delta s of system here there are two body in the system this is finite body 1 and t are so putting here delta s 1 plus delta s 2 plus delta s of engine as the engine is insulated we are assuming it it is insulated means there is no heat ejection or no heat absorber uh, process taking place so uh, this is insulated that's why delta s of engine is equal to 0 so delta s of engine is equal to 0 and delta s 1 is equal to m c p ln t 0 divided by t from the equation we can say that dq by t and instead of dq we are putting this equation mcp dt so the equation is mcp is common and dt by t integration of dt by t is ln t0 minus ln t and uh, by applying the log here of log 1 minus log 2 is equal to log 1 divided by 2 the equation would be mcp ln t0 by t so it's delta s one value is obtained delta s two value is nothing but q2 divided by t0 and q2 for q2 uh, work done is equal to q1 minus q2 as per the first law of thermodynamics cycling integration of work is equal to cycling integration of heat and q2 is equal to from this equation q1 minus w so putting this uh, q2 value over here it is q1 minus w t0 as it is t0 so putting this value of delta s1 and delta s2 in this equation so delta s universe would be delta s1 means f p ln t0 by t plus delta s2 would be q1 minus w divided by t0 as per the maximum work formula this is for the reversible cycle and for the reversible cycle this addition is equal to 0 so now making this equation at right side taking this equation at right side because we need to find out the work equation out of it so w minus q1 divided by t0 is equal to mc ln t0 divided by t and w is equal to mc ln t0 divided by t into t0 minus q1 would be at the right side it would be plus q1 so w instead of putting instead of q1 putting the equation mcp t minus t0 plus t0 mcp ln t0 divided by t taking mcp common out of it it would be the equation w maximum is equal to mcp t minus t0 plus ln t0 divided by t in my every lecture i am always testing the students that these are the theory and these are the derivations but why this derivations are important because each and every equation having an equal scope of research and how the research begins means whenever you are having one finite body whenever you are having one thermal energy reservoir if you are getting work out of it so you need to take such equation into the consideration that what could be the maximum efficient what could be the maximum work output from that system so maximum work output is given by the equation mcp t minus t0 plus ln t0 divided by t and you can also comment that what should be the effect while increasing the t 
or decreasing the T on the maximum work obtained from the system which is working in between fine body and thermal energy reservoir. I hope you enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Good luck.